Hello, my name is Bill Collins. Over the next several minutes, I will be sharing with you what it takes to maintain and enhance the health of your forest and the planning and cost share opportunities available to forest land owners. Your forest may not look this bad, but some forest landowners don't realize that what you see here is an overgrown forest that invites bug infestations and disease. Why do I say that? There are too many trees per acre that must compete with each other for soil, sunlight, water, and nutrients. This puts the trees into a prolonged, weakened state where they are susceptible to bugs and disease. Add a California drought to the mix, and the health of this forest can deteriorate quickly. Um, we have a group of trees here that have been killed by western pine beetle. And even if I didn't look underneath the bark, which you see here shows a nice uh, western pine beetle gallery, uh, even if I didn't look underneath the bark, I could just look at this tree and the pattern of, uh, this is woodpecker feeding on this tree. Um, this pattern of woodpecker feeding is typical of what you see with a western pine beetle. So when the western pine beetle is boring into the tree, that tree is defending itself by trying to pitch the beetles out. It's actually releasing resin, and that resin is an attractant for the red turpentine beetle, which is attacking this tree at the base of the, it, it attacks at the base of the tree. All these big um, pitch globs, that we call them pitch tubes. And These are termites. Over time, this valuable forest has lost a lot of productivity, plant diversity, and wildlife habitat. The other thing you see here is a buildup of hazardous fuels on the ground, making this forest ripe for a catastrophic fire, which would further deteriorate its value and productivity. People don't buy forest land to live among dead and diseased trees or to live in the middle of a high fire hazard area. That's why it's important to recognize that forests are continually growing and changing. To keep a forest healthy, it can't be ignored. It is very important for forest landowners to be good stewards, which means periodically using forest management practices on the ground that are based on the best science. We all see the value in keeping our forest land healthy and safe from catastrophic wildfire. It's even more important if you plan to sell timber or use your forest for commercial products to make a profit. Then you want a healthy forest so it can keep growing to give you the maximum profit possible. Forests don't grow as fast as vegetable gardens, so you know that a long-term commitment is required to keep your forest healthy and productive. This will only happen if you, the private forest landowner, participate. Only you can make a difference. Maintaining healthy forests means we need to take steps to prevent insect infestations and disease or address it as soon as possible when it occurs.
It means clearing underbrush and ladder fuels in a pattern that prevents a slow-moving fire from developing into a catastrophic wildfire. We all want healthier, safer, and more productive forests for all who depend on our forests for scenic beauty, wildlife, recreation, habitat, and for wood products, and making a home and a living. Our forests take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen, so a vibrant forest landscape also improves our air quality over time. Healthy forest landscapes are an effective tool to mitigate the effects of climate change by avoiding further emissions and by sequestering additional carbon. There are three general means by which healthy forest management practices can reduce greenhouse gases. Avoiding emissions by maintaining existing carbon storage in trees and soils. Increasing carbon storage by tree planting, including converting areas of brush or grasslands back into native forest. Substituting bio-based fuels and products for fossil fuels, such as coal and oil, and energy-intensive products that generate greater quantities of CO2 when used. There are several agencies that assist private forest landowners in assessing forest health and planning forest health improvements. There are even cost share programs available to help landowners improve and maintain their land. The Natural Resources Conservation Service, NRCS, is a federal agency that specifically works with landowners on planning and cost share opportunities. California's many resource conservation districts RCDs often partner with NRCS to offer landowner assistance. Universities such as UC Davis Cooperative Extension offer technical assistance. At times, these agencies form partnerships and work with larger groups of landowners to begin analysis, planning, and finally implement on-the-ground projects. NRCS has a nationwide program called EQIP, the Environmental Quality Incentive Program. EQIP offers science-based assistance and cooperative problem solving at the individual landowner level. NRCS provides landowners with the technical and financial tools to plan and fund healthy forest management